Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, this follows when we have a times a, which is the same thing as a squared. That is the same thing multiplying here. We have 9 raised to the power x or squared equals to 42 on this side. That is, next step, this follows the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power m, a raised to power n. This same thing as a raised to power mn. That is, this power multiplies, and we have 9 raised to power 2x equals to 42 on this side. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 9 raised to power 2x equals to log 42 on this side. Then from here, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. Then what we have here becomes 2x log 9 equals to log 42 on this side. Watch this video to the end. Give a thumbs up, put a comment, share this video, and also subscribe. Next step here, divide both sides by log 9, that is, divide this side by log 9, also divide this side by log 9, which implies here, log 9 cancel each other. We have 2x equals to log 42 over log 9. Then, from here, we can express 42 as 3 times 14. And what we have here becomes 2x equals to log 3 times 14 over log 9. Then, here we apply the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. Then what we have here becomes 2x equals to log 3 plus log 14 over log 9. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have 2x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 14 over log 9. Also from here, we can express 14 as 2 times 7. Then what we have here becomes 2x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 2 times 7 over log 9. Then, yeah, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have 2x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 2 plus log 7 over log 9. Which implies, yeah, we separate this into two fractions, and we have 2x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 2 over log 9 plus log 7 over log 9. Then, yeah. We can write 9 as 3 times 3, that's 3 squared, which implies what we have becomes 2x equals to log 3 over log 3 squared plus log 2 over log 3 squared plus log 7 over log 3 squared. 
Then next step here, we apply the power of logarithm. Two comes there, also here and from here. Then we have two x equals to log three over two log three plus log two over two log three plus log seven over two log three watch this video to the end give it a thumbs up put your comment and share this video next step here we have log three cancel each other here over right, becomes two x equals to one over two yeah then plus here we can write it as one over two times log two over log three then plus also 1 over 2 times log 7 over log 3. That is, from here, we apply change of base. When we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. Then, yeah, what we have becomes 2x equals to 1 over 2 plus. 1 over 2 log 2 base 3 plus 1 over 2 log 7 base 3. Then here, yeah. bring this together as one fraction. We have 2x equals to the SM here, we have 2. Then this become 1, then plus log 2 base 3 plus log 7. Base 3. Also, here, multiply both sides by 1 over 2. Multiply this side by 1 over 2. So, multiply this side by 1 over 2. That is, here, to cancel each other. We have x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 7 base 3 all over 2 times 2, that's 4. This we have the value of x here as 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 7 base 3 all over 4. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 7 base 3 all over 4. Then what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 7 base 3 all over 4 times also 9 raised to the power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 7 base 3 all over 4 is it equals to 42 on this side then here we have same base multiplying follows when we have a raised to the power m times a raised to the power also same power we have m this same thing as a raised to the power m plus m, which is 2m. Same thing here. I express this as 9 raised to the power 2 times 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 7 base 3 all over 4. Is it equals to 42 on this side? And here, this power multiplies 2 here 1 and 2 here 2. And we have 9 raised to the power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 7 base 3 all over 2. Is it equals to 42 on this side? That is here. We can rewrite 9 as 3 square. That is, we have 3 square. Then raised to the power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 7 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 42 on this side 
Then this power multiplies and two here cancel each other. We have three raised to power one plus log two raised three plus log seven raised three. This is equals to 42 on this side. Then here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power n plus n, this same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. This here we have 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 7 base 3. Is it equals to 42 on this side? That is 3 raised to power 1, that's 3. Then times here follows. Now we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. This here, the same thing as 2, n times here we have 7. This is equal to 42 on this side. Then 3 times 2, 6, 6 times 7, 42, which is equal to 42 here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 7 base 3 all over 4 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.